The Deep Core is one of the most interesting and mysterious parts of the Star Wars galaxy, essentially a collection of stars hiding bizarre and secluded worlds. Although technically the center of the galaxy, due to the immense difficulty of navigating the region, even the most adventurous smugglers and explorers steer clear of this area of space. However, the Deep Core has immense strategic value. Not only does it border the mysterious unknown regions and the important core worlds, but its dangerous quality makes it the perfect place for those looking to hide something or someone. Palpatine, perhaps more than any other person, recognized the importance of the Deep Core, and during his time as Chancellor of the Republic, began secretly mapping out the region, discovering both planets and usable hyperspace lanes. One of those lanes was then provided to Grievous and the Confederacy of Independent Systems as a secret backdoor into Coruscant. The ensuing battle would not only further Anakin's turn to the dark side, but would also provide Palpatine with an excuse to further militarize the Republic. As Emperor, he doubled his efforts, sending scouts to discover habitable planets before killing them to keep their location secret. Perhaps hundreds of worlds were colonized by those most loyal to the Emperor, creating a new heart of the Empire. The Deep Core was an effective and very secure Imperial stronghold. Travel was prohibited to most civilians, and the fluidity of stellar bodies in the area meant that one couldn't travel safely without daily updated hyperspace maps, which, of course, were in the possession of the Empire alone. Gravity mines, interdiction ships, and fleets made the region nigh impenetrable. The planets of the Deep Core were often centers of industry, research, and Imperial society. They were also often twisted by the dark side and shrouded by secrecy. The most famous world in the Deep Core was Biss, an Imperial fortress world and secondary Imperial capital. The planet possessed not only orbital docks, which created the superweapons used to lead the Dark Empire against the New Republic, but also the Emperor's secret cloning facility, until its destruction, of course. After the failure of Operation Shadow Hand, Imperial warlords remained in the region until their murder at the hands of Natasi Dalla at Toss Beacon. The Deep Core was able to hold strong even against a fully militarized New Republic, though eventually Pelion would lead his Imperial forces out of the Deep Core and the Imperial Remnant would re-establish itself in the Outer Rim. Other than Biss and Toss Beacon, there were countless other mysterious and strange planets. Krakath, for example, was a nexus of dark side activity throughout history. It was, for example, visited by Darth Bane, and also the base of operations for the Imperial Inquisitorius. During the Yuuzhan Vong War, the New Republic used secret hyperspace lanes supplied by the Imperial Remnant to trap the Vong at Ebak 9. The battle was a devastating loss for the invaders and would turn the tide of war. Speaking of unexpected surprises, the Super Star Destroyers Megador and Dominion were also found within a deep core shipyard, as was the Dark Fleet, which was technically located in the Kunat Cluster at the very edge of the deep core. Finally, another notable location in the area was Empress Teta, which was an Ecumenopolis like Coruscant and one of the only deep core planets which actively participated in the Republic and the New Republic. It was more accessible than most deep core planets, but was also seen as a possible stronghold should Coruscant fall during the Yuuzhan Vong War. Now, when Coruscant actually did fall, the Senate moved instead to Mon Calamari, but the planet made it out of the invasion unscathed. There's a lot of mysteries in the Deep Core, hidden Imperial factories, long forgotten wars, secret fleets, and dreadnoughts waiting to be discovered. I really hope that Star Wars canon touches on this area of space because it's truly one of the most interesting in the entire galaxy. This has been Eckhart's Letter. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, may the Force be with you.